era, stability is still uppermost in Bobby Robson's mind on this, his 54th birthday. So back after injury come Peter Shilton and Brian Robson in an England starting lineup which includes six players from the North London clubs Spurs and Arsenal. Spain's team, meantime, contains six from Real Madrid alone. There are three of Gary Lineker's clubmates from Barcelona, and at number 11, Ramon, from Jock Wallace's club Seville, makes his first full appearance. Now, Spain, under the wily Miguel Munoz, have only lost one of their last 17 internationals. His 46-year-old Claudio Pieri from Italy. Spain, in red shirts and blue shorts, start the match playing from left to right and England tonight in all white. Michel, number eight for Spain, back to the right back, Chendo. There's Gallego, who'll be wearing ten, but playing as a sweeper, we suspect. Chendo again, Steve Hodge chasing him. Victor. Michel. Peter Shilton winning his 89th cap this evening. And Terry Butcher of Glasgow Rangers gets England moving. Tony Adams, very composed young man and uh, seems to have the temperament for the big occasion, we shall see. Made up for Gary Lineker. This is Michel for Spain. He's got Ramon going through the centre and a good interception by Adams. That was a confident start by the Arsenal player. Wide on the wing was Waddle and this is Brian Robson well forward. And they've got players in the centre here. England Hodges arriving and it was headed out by Arteche for the corner. Now England's plan with corner kicks is to send Butcher, Adams and Anderson forward. This is Hoddle. And in they all go, and it's going to come back for a shot from Waddle and the goalkeeper. A little relief there, Chris Waddle was the player that got the shot in. Quickly taken corner, catching Spain, somewhat unawares there. Glenn Hoddle curled the ball in, and when it came back out of that crowd of players, it was Chris Waddle who had the shot. To be eliminated, you may remember, by Belgium, the actual game ended in a 1-1 draw. Here's Camacho. Butregueño, Victor. Chendo is up from right back. Carrasco. Butregueño. Chendo is onside here, it's dangerous this. Oh, Carrasco missed it, Butragueño won't. 1-0 Spain, and Emilio Butragueño of Real Madrid puts his side in front with a smart piece of opportunism after Spain opened up the left flank here of the England defence. It was Chendo, the right back, who made the overlap. Carrasco had the first chance and missed it. Butragueño turned past Anderson and slotted the ball past Chilton. 15 minutes gone, and Spain have taken the lead. Another view of it here, they did well to stay onside there actually. Chendo had timed his run right, and as the England defence tries to cover, it's Carrasco who's first in there, misses, Anderson can't make it, and Butragueño, although Adams tried to clear off the line, found the back of the net. So the little man, who's nicknamed the Vulture, swoops there to score the first goal of this friendly. his pass forward to Carrasco, here's Michel, Butragueño is well forward again, but this is Ramon. And Adams fires it past for a corner. Spain encouraged by that opening goal. And it looks as though Arteche is the main man coming forward for corner kicks. 
This is Michel. This is Victor. Goal kick given. Spain felt that was a certain corner, and I think Peter Shilton thought so too, the way he tried to save it. But the referee has given a goal kick. And after 17 minutes in this friendly, his side trail by one goal to nil. Gordilio, good experience, international player, the number six. So England, who made the better of the early chances, falling a goal behind in one of the first Spanish thrusts. But on reflection, now how close Robson was to equalising straight from the kickoff. That's Carrasco, who plays for Terry Venables' club, Barcelona. Highly rated forward. Here's Victor. Gendo again, Carrasco, Butcher again, Yo, back to Carrasco, needed two defenders to close him down there. Spain don't play all that many of their internationals in Madrid, so uh, there's quite a lot of enthusiasm in the stadium tonight, although it's... Uh, as I said earlier, by no means full. It's a friendly match and uh, the European Championship is the real business at the moment for both these countries. Nevertheless, it's an important game in the build-up process and England are a goal down at present. This is Hoddle. Right. Samson with the throw, Beardsley. Free kick to England. Beardsley. Robson goes in there. This is Hoddle. And was Waddle offside there? Apparently not. There are players waiting in the centre here for a cross. Lineker's up there. Well, that was a good England attack because they had plenty of players in the penalty area and Waddle got the right sort of ball in. Spain lead England by one goal to nil. Here's Viv Anderson for England. Waddle. Anderson on the overlap. Lineker waiting in the centre and Glenn Hoddle was well forward in that attack. Pity from an England point of view that Anderson couldn't have got the ball in. It was a good tackle though. Carrasco, Gordilio. Brian Robson breaking things up. Waddle looks for Beardsley, who did well there on the outside of Arteche. Hodge is there. It may run to Lineker. It has run back for Robson. Oh, it hits the post hoddle. Saved by Zubi Zaretta. And surely a chance at the far post here. And a goal. Gary Lineker finishes it off for England and makes it 1-1 and a deserved goal it was too because England worked that ball really well. Lineker is the scorer but two things happened before then. Beardsley was involved, the ball came across the area. Lineker's first touch was to set Brian Robson up here. The ball comes back off the post. Glenn Hoddle now has a chance. He hits Zuby Zaretta. The ball goes back again to Hoddle, and as the cross comes in, there's the final touch by Gary Lineker, and it's 1-1. This record, and the man was in the right place at the right time again there for England. But here comes Chendo. 
A corner has been given. To be taken by Carrasco. Arteche is forward again. Cluster of England defenders to get the ball away. Michel, Carrasco. Arteche is still forward in the centre. Carrasco. And Arteche is still there, and Shilton picks that one out beautifully. Butragueño. Oh, Ramon. That's good play. He stumbled a little and felt he was fouled. Referee said no. But it was a close decision that. I, if, if I was a Spaniard, I might wonder about that. It just seemed as though he might have been caught there. Camacho. Waddle. Well, this match was billed by many people as the classic clash of the two goal scorers, Butragueño of Spain and Lineker of England, and in the opening 25 minutes, both have shown us why. For the moment, England have a free kick, for which Viv Anderson and Terry Butcher have both gone forward. Anderson is there, Lineker's there again! 2-1 to England, and they can't contain him. The Spaniards can't stop this man in their first division, and they can't stop him tonight in the international arena either. Hoddle curled the free kick in, Viv Anderson jumped first, Gary Lineker was poaching again. 27 minutes gone, and it's Spain 1, England 2. The set play paying off here, Viv Anderson always dangerous at those, but the defenders lost their way, and Lineker found his spot again. But this is Victor to Carrasco. Now, is there offside there? Apparently not. Michel is the player going through, and a super save from Peter Shilton. In as much as he read that uh, danger so fast and was off his line to smother the ball at the feet of Michel. The flag stayed down. The England goalkeeper was in top form there. Hodge. Robson. Lineker. Spain breaking away again. Ramon well forward. He found Carrasco. Ramon has gone into the centre forward position now. Butragueño is also forward. Gordillo is streaming up on the left hand side. This is Michel to Victor. Michel again. Gordillo out on the left wing. Three waiting in the centre. But two four crosses coming in from Gordillo on that side in this first half which is now less than a minute from ending. And England have an injury uh, to contend with as well, because uh, while Peter Beardsley was making that break, Steve Hodge was obviously in need of attention. You won't have to wait too long, actually, to uh, get some prolonged treatment in the dressing room. Spain have possession with Gordillo. Victor is over on the left wing at the moment. Carrasco is also on that side. And they're trying to bring Chendo into the game again. 
Beardsley made the challenge on Camacho but didn't break for him Butragueño Camacho Spain trying to stay on side here Ramon good play by Ramon Carrasco oh. well he'll look back on that and feel he should have done better it did come to him rather awkwardly but he hardly got a contact on it and just potted it to Shilton oh he should have scored Minos former Real Madrid captain and manager in the great European Cup days Cordelio Camacho broken up by Waddle header forward there was by Adams this is Victor number five for Spain Gallego the sweeper Peter Beardsley tries to get a tackle in Owen Lineker has got Beardsley in a good position here and Lineker may score again and he has he's got his hat-trick well that is a quite superb night's work for Gary Lineker that shot came back off Zubi Zaretta and Lineker was in the right place again and he repeats his performance against the Poles back in the World Cup in Monterey he gets three goals and England lead by three to one Lineker and as Hoddle finds Beardsley there's danger for Spain again here Beardsley going all the way and a good save by Zubi Zaretta that could have been four and just at the moment England are rampant here's Godilio Butragueño he's got Ramon waiting on the six yard line and he's forced a corner well Spain needs something back pretty quickly here if only to get the crowd on their side again didn't bounce well for him off the two men who went in first this is a touch by Lineker and a lovely one it was too to Waddle England's passing has been slick and imaginative and penetrating too this is Waddle and Glenn Hoddle was well forward again with the shot missed by very much let's just get a very brief comment from Terry Venables about this Gary Lineker hat-trick well as I said I think that uh, they've left this very wide open we saw that on the goal there was just two against two and the, the ball broke well for Gary but uh, I must say, I think England are playing magnificent well. They're playing so quick and slick. They're not playing. They're, they're playing with a lot of determination, and yet they're playing a lot, a lot of um, good football play as well. Glenn Hoddle on the ball now, re revealing just that. Gets himself into a shooting position and hits the bar. Well, where is all this going to end? It nearly ended in number four there, that's for certain. And I'm not talking about the number on Hoddle's shirt. That one beat Zubi Zaretta. He was, wasn't in the race at all, and it came back off the bar. Came out towards Chris Waddle, back again to Hoddle. And they're still packed in there, waiting for the cross. And it's still Glenn Hoddle. Driven this time. Gallego got a foot to it and found Gordilio. We've been playing now for 12 minutes in the second half here in the Bernabeu Stadium. And England still look dangerous with Beardsley. And there's Lineker again. He's got his fourth. Well, this is extraordinary. Nobody surely expected this. Gary Lineker has scored all four, doing for England here better than he's ever done before. That was again a very smart finish. Zubi Zaretta might have been a little bit disappointed, but what a good piece of play again by England. The ball was moved about skillfully. Lineker got his shot in. It didn't seem to be going too far away from Zubi Zaretta's left hand, but it's 4-1 and Lineker has got the lot. Well, we're beginning to think now of personal performances by England players. You remember Malcolm McDonald's five against Cyprus at Wembley a few years back. Could Lineker equal that? 
certainly he's done here for England what Butragueno, the Spanish number nine, did for them in that World Cup match against Denmark in Mexico. Personal Hall of Four. That's a fabulous achievement at international level. And it's put England totally in charge in this friendly. Quite where Spain go from here, I'm not at all sure, and certainly they don't seem to know. This is Anderson. Robson. Hoddle. Everything's falling England's way, it would seem. Hodge. Hoddle. Back again for Hodge. Well, the Spanish defenders have got the shivers every time the ball comes into that last third of the field. But meantime, here's Gordillo on the break. Butragueño. Oh, a chance for Gordillo here. Good challenge by Tony Adams, was it? Spain are appealing for a penalty. But the referee has said corner, I suspect. Tony Adams had the tackle, and I, I felt he went for the ball there. Flick back here to Victor. Butragueño is over on the right wing. His thunder's been stolen by Lineker for the time being. And he can do nothing there. Well, what more can you say about Gary Terry Venables? You're his manager. Well, I think everybody uh, could see it was just quite magnificent, that finish. I thought the ball uh, quickly put into him by uh, Beardsley was good. His first touch was great. And, of course, his sh shooting again tonight has just been exceptional. There's just nothing you can say about the man. I mean, tonight, I think he has been quite magnificent. Ramon. So, Gordilio, Michel and Chendo are the three players who've gone off. And Peter Shilton for England. Joaquin plays the sporting Gijon. This is Camacho. Now, number 15 there, Roberto, is one of Terry Venable's Barcelona players. In fact, he scored with a header on Sunday. And here's the prime mover again, Gary Lineker. My word, his pace took him clear of three of them there. And this time the finish eludes him. Well, he was on his way there, perhaps, to equal Malcolm McDonald's five goals against much better opposition, too. I'm sure Malcolm would accept that. Lineker was clear of the whole defence, but this time he jabbed that one with the right foot well wide of the post. Shows even he's human. But what a beautiful turn of pace that took him clear. This is Butragueño. Beardsley's industry also needs to be mentioned here. He's figured in, I think, three of the goals in one way or another. This is Camacho. This is Carrasco for Spain. Camacho again. Chance in the penalty area there, maybe, for Joaquin with the volley. That was a good effort from the man who hasn't been on more than a few minutes. He scored actually um, against Albania earlier in the season, Joaquin. And it was a little bit of a test that for Chris Woods, who's just come into the action. Didn't have to make a save as such, but he certainly had to be aware and probably had it covered anyway. Corner to Spain. And England now are going to make a substitution. And it's going to be number 14, Trevor Stephen of Everton, who will take the place of Tottenham's Chris Waddle. Played short. Now, can Carrasco get the cross? And he can. Oh, there's a chance there, and Ramon. 
number 11 Ramon the man who missed or rather had his first header saved from that corner he made up for it and in his first full appearance for Spain he's brought some respectability back to the score from their point of view they worked it quite nicely there the two of them Carrasco it was who crossed the ball and Ramon actually found himself in an unmarked position and Chris Woods is on the conceding end for the first time at full international level England didn't really get themselves organized too well when that cross came in with a very good cross by Carrasco and Ramon just guided his header in so it's 4-2 now with 13 minutes to go and the Spanish crowd at last have something to cheer about Anderson Spain perhaps seeing a chance here with a firework on the pitch of uh, another explosion at that end So four for England and Gary Lineker, and two now for the Spaniards. Their scorers, Butragueño and Ramon. This is Victor. Well, those changes made by the Spanish manager appear to have injected rather more life into the team. Andrew Neuer is the number 14 there at the back. Joaquin Andrew Neuer This is Victor I don't know what's going to happen when the ball goes in the penalty area. That firework is still glowing there by the penalty spot. And there is Sanchez. And there's danger here. Sanchez is round the back and Brian Robson had to cover very quickly. Looks as though the, the three players who've come on have brought a little bit of directness and simplicity to Spain's football and that's improved their performance Andrew Neuer has joined those in the penalty area here as Carrasco takes the corner Viv Anderson got a header on it it's back again with Carrasco he's pulled it back to Butragueño and for the moment it's England who have pinned back on the edge of their own penalty area Spain are going through a much better spell now Butragueño Joaquin And Joaquin has the shot and good, makes a decent save and also kicks the ball in. Well, there was a hint of 4-3 possibly there. Just to show that Spain are by no means finished. One of the subs, Joaquin, making room for the shot. And it was just going low by the post when Wood scrambled across. That was Andrew Neuer with Lineker. Hodges in there again. This is Joaquin. Butragueño. Sanchez. Oh, and Butragueño nearly got in on the blind side there. But this has been a memorable night for England in one of the great theatres of world football. An exceptional victory in the Bernabeu Stadium by four goals to two.